Hello, Chessie T families, and welcome to the Facebook Friday Show. I'm Meg Killingsworth, your family engagement coordinator, and we're talking about safety today for our show. Let's start by introducing ourselves. Hey, I am Rob Dugan. I'm the assistant principal for kindergarten through second grade, but I'm also the assistant principal that is over school safety at Chessie Elementary School. Awesome. And I'm Officer Angie. I am work for the Sheriff's Office, um, but I am detached to the School Resource Officer Unit, which means that I am at Chestity all day long, from the time the children get here till the time they go home. I'm on campus. Well, and we love having you, Officer Absolutely. Angie. And I know people want to know what exactly is your role at the T. You know, I love all the giving the babies hugs mm -hmm. and high fives and fist bumps, but when it really comes down to it, my objective all day long is to keep your baby safe. Mm -hmm. um, I make sure the building is secure. I check all the doors, make sure they're working properly. Um, I just go out in the parking lots and look around. Um, that is my main priority. That's what I do every day is make sure that they are safe. Awesome. And I know we've had so many great questions come up, especially from our kindergarten families and our new families who are sending your babies to us mm -hmm. um, about, you know, how do I know that my child is safe inside that school? And that's a great question, very valid. We have so many things in place. We do, we, um, we run our drills. Um, this week we actually had our first fire drill and it went Excellent. Excellent. It was such a great Good. job. Yes. Um, so we're constantly training and going and practicing these drills and preparing teachers, preparing students. So that's the big thing. We always want to make sure that we're practicing and getting better. And I, I always take feedback from the teachers. So if they're mm -hmm. saying, hey, this didn't quite work that way, we can go and make sure that everything's running smoothly. So we do a lot of practicing and training to make sure everyone's safe, especially during our, when we're doing our drills. And we have to do fire drills once a month mm -hmm. but in the month of August we have to do two and so one within the first 10 days which we did this week and then we'll do another one in August and I love it because we talk so age appropriately to kids with yes. these drills with Mr. Dugan comes on with an announcement with students this is just a drill we're just practicing and um, the teachers talk really well about here's what we're going to do and just so we know if that ever were something that happened actually we would know where to go and what to do and it wouldn't be chaotic right. it would be safe yes, absolutely. <laughs> what other things do we have in place um, to protect our school so there's lots of different things mm -hmm. that uh, a lot of it comes, all the schools are given these things. We have tinted windows on the outside of our windows. We have um, a Raptor system, which I think all of you should know what it is because when we ask for your driver's license as you come in, it runs um, that person, whoever it is, to make sure that they, they aren't a sex offender and that helps keep our school safe. There's cameras everywhere on campus. I'm able to pull those up and so is Mr. Dugan to look for any safety issues. Um, again, we check the doors vigilantly. And the other thing that we have going on right now is uh, Sheriff Freeman has um, implemented that officers that are working on patrol in the area, mm -hmm. if they will stop and do their paperwork in the, in the parking lot, which is wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, so if you pull on campus and see extra patrol cars here, don't be panicked. Mm -hmm. They're just here doing paperwork or they're visiting me. I like to take them on tours of the school so they know where everything That's is. Nice. So if we mm -hmm. were to have an emergency, they know where to go and where I'll be. Selfishly, I kind of like it when the canine units come Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. And we posted that picture last week of Deputy Challenger stopping by. And I know that was a big hit. We've had many different officers coming through the doors and walking the school and just really providing a great presence here at the school um, with increased safety. So we certainly appreciate that. So our car line is really getting fast and efficient. We so appreciate that. People are pulling up as far as they can in the line. It is looking good um, both morning and afternoon. We've got a really good system. How about Monday, Mr. Dugan? So on Monday, you know, we're, we're ripping off the Band-Aid as it <laughs> is, but it's, um, we will make sure that if you're in line by 740, you'll be counted, you know, present and on time. But anytime after that 740, 
you'll have to walk your child in and they'll be marked as tardy. Um, we just, and, and so far the line's been going great. Mm -hmm. you know, it's been usually done by the, around that time. Mm -hmm. But just so you know, it's, you know, as long as you're in the line at 740, you're good. But anytime after that, then you'll have to come in and check your child in. You got it. So you'll park, you'll get out of your car, come on in, see Stacy. She'll sign your child in. Um, and at 740, when that bell rings, that's when I'll go and I'll walk over kind of as your sign, hey, the bell just rang. Um, just adjust your schedule five to 10 minutes because the line is moving so efficiently. And before the bell rings, it is wide open to pull in. So just know um, we're starting it at seven. Uh, to make it really efficient. So please back up five to 10 minutes so you can be here and get your child on time and a great start to the day. Because a lot of times we're coming in and getting breakfast as well. So we make sure yes. we get them some breakfast and get to class so we yeah. can start learning. Yeah, we love that. So on behalf of our staff, we just wanna thank you for trusting us with your child. Uh, it means the world to us. We have so many great things in place for safety. Um, and we just think the world of our families and our students, and we're here for you. We hope you have a great weekend. Thanks, y'all, for being Thanks our guest today. Thank you for us. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.